we all know that the New York Times has had an issue with the entire skilled nursing sector for many years. They just like to pick on it. And when there's a major problem, they pounce. Much like they did last year with a record HUD loan loss, and now this year with the pandemic. But what really irritated me was the recent front page headline, which included, Residents are sitting ducks. Now, this phrase did come from someone they interviewed, but the only thing the reader will remember is that you are a sitting duck if you live in a nursing facility today, during this pandemic. That is intentional, and it is not fair. With more than 3,600 deaths in nursing facilities so far as a result of COVID-19, obviously people are concerned. The several cases where there have been more than a dozen deaths in one facility is alarming. But this pandemic spreads so quickly and is so contagious with asymptomatic people spreading it around, whether family members, staff, or delivery people, that we wonder whether the blame really should fall on the skilled nursing providers. How do you engage in social distancing when most rooms are semi-private? Staff, nurses included, rarely use masks for day-to-day -day work six weeks ago. Now it is mandatory. It is a new world. When you have 120 residents, plus at any given time more than 75 staff members on site, that represents anywhere from 200 to 250 square feet per person, sometimes less. And that includes hallways, bathrooms, offices, and the kitchen. And with eight foot hallways, forget about keeping six feet away. That compares with more than 1,600 square feet per person for the three of us here today. Think about it. I think everyone was caught with their pants down on this one, some further down than others. But this pandemic is picking on the elderly and the frail elderly in particular. So does the typical flu season, just not nearly to this extent. What is happening is certainly sad, but please do not call them sitting ducks. Have a little respect.